Well, Buffalo honestly originally wasn't on my list of places to come to because when you think of Buffalo, you think of the winters. Growing up in the city all my life, I didn't want to do residency, you know, kind of in the middle of nowhere. I really wanted to be in a city. When you come to Buffalo, you're going to see that the city is in the middle of a resurgence. And the hub of that resurgence is the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. I don't think people have that first knee-jerk reaction of, wow, Buffalo. But I think as the years go on, it is getting more of a wow, Buffalo feeling. Our new medical school that I look out to right now looks like a five-star facility anywhere you put it. It wasn't until I came for my interview day that I finally felt connected with this place. I loved the residents here. I thought they were very diverse, not only in terms of race and ethnicity and gender, but also in terms of where they come from. It was really important for me to be somewhere to train where I would see everything. I work mostly at Oshai Children's Hospital. We're the main center in Western New York, and so we really get exposed to a really wide variety of high acuity critical patients and a lot of rare things. The university graduate medical education program really couldn't function without the partnership with our five affiliated health systems. That's Kaleida Health, the Catholic Health System, Erie County Medical Center, which is the county hospital, the Veterans Administration Hospital, and the Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. I definitely knew that I wanted a residency program that was also associated with a gynecologic oncology fellowship. And Roswell Park was right there. It is a very well-known cancer institute with a lot of major research and cutting edge research. Residents and fellows who train at the University of Buffalo have the opportunity to experience research from basic science, bench lab work, to clinical and translational research. One of the really interesting new research opportunities here is our Community Health Equity and Research Institute, which is a really exciting partnership between the University of Buffalo and the medical school and a number of community organizations. I don't think people realize how diverse the area is, and in our training we see people from all walks of life, all creeds of life, and it's so important to have a well-rounded training where you are not just seeing people that look like yourself. We're very proud of the fact that we offer a very supportive environment for our residents, and we have a dedicated team of professionals in the Office of Graduate Medical Education who really wake up every single day thinking about how they can support the residents, make their experience better, be responsive to their questions and concerns. You know, I don't have any family up here in Buffalo, and so you want to be in a program where you have support from the faculty. The last thing you want to do is just to feel like you're swimming alone. And so Dr. Milling was always that sort of anchor that always was able to guide and encourage. I think as a Western New Yorker, uh, there's an inherent pride in being from this area. I chose to stay here for residency and to continue on the faculty because this is my home and it's given me so much. So the idea of, of paying back uh, all this training and all the expertise that I've been given, I think is very important. The life of a resident is really tiring. Um, we work a lot of hours, so the time that we do get away, it's usually doing something fun and relaxing. A lot of people really enjoy doing outdoor things and hiking, and there's lots of waterfalls around and great beaches and things to do out on the water. The housing market here is great for residents. You can get a single family home and be probably be paying, if not the same amount that you'd be paying for rent, um, maybe a little less and have more space. So I think that's one perk of sort of being here in Buffalo that my wife and I capitalized on. We spend a lot of time emphasizing research, and quality improvement, patient-centeredness, humanism, but I think the, the real strength of training here is the opportunity to do a lot of patient care so that when residents and fellows finish their training, they're competent and confident to take care of patients. I would say Buffalo is a hidden gem. There's a lot to offer, and it's a great academic institute with uh, major research coming out of it. The faculty are amazing. They're very flexible in wanting and helping you to reach your goals and your aspirations.